Uh, last bit, I think, of this engine. Um, sensors, including electric fan. So I've just mocked this back together, the hanger and the shroud. And um, no, that doesn't matter. Yeah, so because I've got this and I've got this, and this is going to be changed. Like, let me explain this. This is OEM, so I think it's. Well, it is seven volts um, oil pressure switch, and this runs. This is going to be the motor gadget, which is twelve volts, ten volts, twelve volts, regardless. So it's it's not going to. I can't use this with the motor gadget. I'll get the wrong readings. Um, for the oil pressure. But the problem I see now is will this fit without modding this a little bit? So that's one thing. The other thing I'm not sure about is thread, if it's the same as that. So I've got to look into this before I take it apart. Regardless, what I'm doing today is ZX6R is not the normal fan to go with. Uh, it spins that way. Um, I can't do it like this, so I'm going to. I think so mount it somewhere here using these little things, these little isolators, rubber mounted isolators. I think that'll be quite neat. I've seen it on I'm copying an idea doing this. It's not but I thought it was a good idea, so Well I'm not one for health and safety particularly. I'm at home, home alone, then yes, I, I agree. Okay, no going back for that. And that's looking a lot better already. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clean up these edges. I'm going to score the line here just to double up on this mount basically. It's the strongest part. So I'm just going to sit like that. So I'll do a little pilot hole first.
Alrighty. Fine. I think that's good enough. I need to go and get some nuts to put on these. It'll be too long. Right, electric fan conversion. So what I've done, um, I've used this wrinkle style paint for the radiator. Um, it's good at hiding shitty little uh, imperfections, let's call it. I don't mind that, it's looking good. I've got a new cap. I've copied a guy called uh, Ben with his idea and someone from Australia with this idea, so I'll quickly explain. Uh, three isolators, rubber mounts. We've got a, f a female going in, male there. Uh, the 20 diameter by 25 in length and a 30 in length on that one and it's pretty solid but it i'm quite happy it's all three and as you can maybe see we're not protruding past the cowling and i've re-secured the seal with some uh, high temp resistant sealant use that on gas turbine engines so it can take a CX500 I think um, now I've fucked this up as you can see so this is from Ben I think it's I think his name's Ben let's call him Ben hi Ben Good guy, actually. He seems like a nice guy. He's done a really nice CX500, so you should check him out if you've not already. Um, so it's a 1 8 MPF. Goes in there. I'm going to obviously seal that in as well. Now, I presumed I needed to grind this down to get through this hole, but I've ground it too much. Made a right mess of it. So I've got a new one coming, and I'm going to drill this hole by 8.2mm. So that should go down 
to about here, I would say. And I think this is a tapered thread. Yeah, so it's a tapered thread, so it seals itself. So there we are. It's pretty good. So there's a hand battery drill right down the centre. So at least I didn't fuck one, something up. So this should now screw down. Up. Anyway, it'll go like that. So that will work. And the next one, you, there's no need to do this at all. But we'll come back to that, no problem. And it's a ground type switch, 190, will automatically turn the fan on straight to the M unit. And I think it cuts off at 175 degrees F. Uh, just coming back, decided to go OTT with this, so I don't want it to come loose. So I've added some stiff nuts to this. It was tapped, but it's not enough thread in this. So there's a nut there. I'm going to wire lock this to this, these two together, and we should be good after that, I just want to get rid of that there, right, so, because where the hole is, you pull it from that side to make it tight. Choit. Um, Probably there. Give it some twists. go through there this one goes around and under get rid of the fat To snap it. Right, 
There you go. Not bad, but ain't going nowhere. And same with this. There you go, pretty taut, and if you want to cheat, you just loosen the nut, <laughs> makes it nice and tight, but we don't do that on aeroplanes. Right, just bend that down there. So I'm going to catch my hand on it. There we go. So, nut wants to loosen, goes this way, pulls this, tightens this. Same principle. Right, that's it. Tripped it, so I'm gonna put a black paint. Mm -hmm. 